Hello Leo, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your Twin Flame Soulmate Divine Partner April reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember that time is an illusion, energy is fluid. Whenever you're guided to this is a perfect time. It's for, so it's for the next four weeks. We'll say. It always takes what resonates with you. We're going to get a clue in on you and your person. I have three new card decks I'm really excited to share with you guys. I'm so appreciative of cards. I love them. These ones didn't come with the book so I spent a couple hours or so writing out what they mean because it's the um, dreams of Gaia tarot and it's totally different than normal tarot. So we're going to have a little fun with that. Some steampunk tarot and angels of Atlantis. All right, Leo, highest and best. What's the energy around you? What are the messages for you right now? The youth. A lot of people are getting this in different positions, but this is like full energy, like taking that leap of faith, going on a new adventure, and then your person. Emotions, and actually several signs have gotten this. So I do feel like this is a wonderful time period for people to get in touch with their emotions, in touch with what they really want, uh, move towards what they really want, you know? So we have the youth for you. Adventure, new horizons, excitement, independence, freedom, rebellion, impulsive, loyalty, compromise. Questions to ask yourself during this time is, am I communicating effectively? Do I make choices without any thought of the outcome or how it will affect others? Who or what am I loyal to? And what's preventing me from taking a risk or taking that leap of faith? And as far as the emotions go, feelings, positive and negative emotions, acknowledgement, emotional honesty, expression. Am I being mindful and honest about my feelings? That's what your person is working on. They're, they're being more mindful and honest. They're wanting to be. Do I take the time to acknowledge and explore my emotions? Am I aware of how my feelings affect my thoughts and actions or non-actions? Do I need to step back and detach from a situation to gain perspective emotionally? So your person, if they're separated at all or you're not hearing from them, they may, they may be detaching so that they can get a handle on their own emotions and how they feel about this situation and bring it. See, this is like you know clarity and truth, bringing every head and heart into balance. Like that's what's happening right now. And sometimes that's difficult, right? Sometimes we don't want to face it. We're like, no. But it's it's you know really important and key right now that they do face that and that you make your plan for this new adventure. And are you being too hasty? You know, take your time. You don't need to rush. What do you want? So it's time for you to focus on you. Now I separated the suits. So this is the air energy here, and we're just gonna mix it up, Leo, and see what is so what are you thinking about? What are they thinking about? What what energy is supporting your thoughts and what energy is supporting your person's thoughts? And if you feel yourself on this side more, just flip it. You know, it's always up to you. So for Leo, highest and best. The scribe. Nice. A wise counsel. You are wise counsel, counsel or you're seeking wise counsel during this time. Clarity coming in from the spirit world for you. Ancient knowledge being unlocked. That's what I'm seeing with that energy. What about your person? The Eight of Swords. So, yeah, yeah. So, not only is your person balancing their emotions and how they feel and, and trying and really working to connect with their emotions finally, they're balancing their headspace as well. Because the Eight of Eight of Swords is very toxic energy. It can be very toxic all up in your head. See, that's that coming into peace with their thoughts, right? That's what they're working on, coming into peace with what they think and, and connecting to their emotions to help balance that. Because you see like what has hurt them in the past, they realize that these toxic thoughts and continuous thoughts are hurting them. So they're working to, you know, kind of rise up out of that and break these chains of their of the toxicity around them and their head. Here's that third eye awakening. So I, I believe what I believe and what I see from this card is that they're healing from this toxic energy right now. And that you are leveling up to mastership or reaching out to someone who is like a master who can help guide you on this new adventure, this new journey, this new opportunity. Emotionally speaking, in the heart space, these are the emotion cards. I just love the cards, they're so beautiful. Um, so in the heart space, 
What is spirit working with you? Where are you at? Where's your person at? Leo, you. The three of cups. Feeling good, celebrating. This is expansion, growth. Feeling very prosperous, feeling very abundant, happy. Maybe, maybe you're, you know, just feeling happy. Like, let's be happy during this time period. Let's celebrate how far we've come and that we get a little more time to ourselves, maybe, and time with our family, time, you know, to collect ourselves. But this is, you know, coming together, feeling good, expanding, expansion in your heart space. Celebrating you, your person. Look at that, the Ten of Cups. So finding that peace and contentment with their emotions and their heart space. That's beautiful energy, Ten of Cups. You know, happiness, joy, peace. Emotional freedom. Ending some emotional experiences that were not serving them, that were toxic, and finding the peace in that. Because Tens are endings, right? And I do feel a very, you know, kind of, we'll see with the other cards, but it just may be like, you focusing on you and your independence and feeling happy and they're focusing on the peace and contentment finding this balance on by on their own you know and what about the here is the fire energy the wand energy uh the sacred sexual connection creativity expansion spirituality what's going on with you leo this is you fire right Ooh, look at the hat yes look at this gorgeous energy Third eye again, third eye opening, seeing clearly, taking charge, making decisions, balancing, balance of the head and the heart. And there's that lion, that Leo lion. See, you are the king, you are the queen, you're stepping into that role. So, wow, and really feeling passionate towards your lover, feeling passionate towards this divine, sacred sexual union. Ooh, and for your person, that just flew out. Look at that. The Ten of Wands, ending things, finding balance. You see that? You see, Wow, this is, I just love this. Okay, When you stand in your power, Leo, and you stand in that king or queen power, you're making good decisions, you're creative, you're passionate, you're going after your desires, you're, you know, your whole world is lighting up, your sacral chakra, it's just woo, all this good feeling energy, and your person feels it. It's helping them heal. See, all these chakras being activated. That's why healing, reaching out to a healer, reach out to me, you know, who, whomever you, you feel guided to. But it's a good time for healing and restoration because that's what's happening with your person balance. You know, I'm going to drop the burdens of the past. I've been holding on to this for too long. It's, you know, they just have this burning desire to spread their wings and go after this passion. Connecting to one another spiritually, you see that? You are connecting in the spirit realm. You're connecting in your dreams. You are speaking telepathically to one another. Trust that. Trust the connection. There's a lot of healing and balancing happening here. Your person is leveling up spiritually as well, expanding, because they're finally connecting to their emotions. And then we're going to see what's happening on the earthly plane with the earth energy, your health, finances, um, opportunity to collaborate in this union. What's going on with you in the earthly pain or messages for you? Yeah. Okay. Hello. The queen of earth, the queen of pentacles. Yes. Balance with your masculine and feminine. Feeling grounded, stable, good, compassionate, healthy, abundant, and knowing your worth. Really standing in your like full masculine and feminine power. The Queen of Earth is the Empress, I, I believe, realized in the, in the physical. That's how I feel the Queen. She's so beautiful. And it's just living in that abundance. So you're moving towards abundance. Whatever you're working on is going to be abundant. Your creative projects, uh, maybe the new job you're going after, this love interest is going to be very abundant. What about for your person? The seven of pentacles, the seven of earth. So look at that. Look at that. Look at this healing. I mean, there is a lot of healing going on with your person. Look at that. Going within, finding the balance, healing. It's a moment of pause. It's for this healing and this fruition of things to occur. There, there has to be a pause. So if there's a pause and your person is pausing or you know this, allow them the time to heal 
And by you stepping into your power, making good decisions for you and living in this bun abundant, compassionate, creative energy, this loving, happy energy, this wise energy. So you're the wise fool moving forward. You've learned, you've grown. And so by living in that power and that abundance and that unconditional love, it's helping your, your partner heal and overcome the anxiety of it all. So now we're going to see what's uh, manifesting in this union, in this sacred union. What are possible manifestations coming up during this time period? Highest and best for Leo. Ooh. Wow, okay. They want me to read it this way, so we're going to read them in order. Look at this. The king of swords, like the masculine. The masculine in this situation. Studying, learning, go diving deep, learning things, finding the balance of the head and the heart, because that's the king. Balancing the head and the heart. Ooh, look at this. I haven't even pulled this card yet, and I've done, you know, this is, you're the fifth one that I'm doing. Um, wow, this is a cool card, isn't it? Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Destiny is moving in your favor. It's moving. It's time to get it moving. It's time to take some action. That's that, you know, that making decisions. So the fate, your, what's fated and destined for you is, is, is happening. So if you've been doing the work and you're sending unconditional love and you're living in alignment best you can, making the best decisions you can for yourself and your loved ones, you're going to be blessed. This is karmic blessing. The wheel of fortune can also be, you know, cycles ending, wanting to end certain cycles to move on to the next one, right? And you can't make this up, okay? We got, wow, we got two different decks going on here and we get the queen of pentacles again. So there's, you may be interested in an earth sign and I, I you know, you know me, I don't read a lot of signs, but a lot of earth energy coming in, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, doesn't have to be. But this is very healing energy to the Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles knows her worth. So Leo, this could be you if you're the feminine. Like just knowing your worth is very attractive. Somebody may need to drink more water. This is the first time that my throat's been so dry. Make sure definitely during this time period, warm water is also good. Somebody needed to hear that. Gargling with salt water as well. But this masculine, the masculine in this situation is getting the clarity, getting the truth by going within, healing, doing whatever, focusing on abundance, you know, we're all marrying one another, especially our sacred lover, and, and wanting, you know, kind of looking up and wanting to get the wheel of destiny turning towards his queen of pentacles, towards the abundance. And look at, I, I mean, these are the cards that came out, like moving towards collaborating collaboration in the material world three of pentacles coming together for this golden opportunity this new beginning the ace of pentacles that the universe is basically offering you guys to get the wheel turning um, maybe somebody's moving because this is a moving card could be a ring you know higher level of commitment it's but a new opportunity in a job see this collaboration maybe perhaps you're collaborating with this person with your person your lover and, and and that's a golden opportunity to collaborate somehow. So there's some kind of divine collaboration coming in that's leading you to these new beginnings and leading you to the Two of Cups. This is unconditional love. This is the yin and yang, perfect mirrors. You know, you work on filling your own cup and they fill their own cup. And look, you're mixing the cups together. And look at that beautiful synergy that happens when you do that, when you find that balance within yourself and then you, you go towards this unconditional soulmate love. So... That's what's manifesting a new opportunity in this in love for this union. Very abundant, very logical, very balanced. And the fe the divine feminine is just like, yeah, okay, I'm I'm here, I'm waiting. I've worked on myself. I'm keeping well, I'm gonna keep working on myself and I'm just gonna shine my beautiful light. And the masculine's like, ooh, wait a second. <laughs> Maybe I need to get going on this. Yeah, communication, page of swords, thinking about how there's communication coming in, an opportunity for it, opportunity for these new beginnings and a new way of communicating, kind of going back to more innocence in communication, not being so harsh with the communication, being more curious about things, right? This is curiosity. 
I feel like it's getting to know one another. Like you see how um, this is like, I mean, you know, kind of a younger couple. Doesn't mean that you're young in age. Ooh, that sun just came in real strong. Wow. Sun's illuminating your life right now, Leo, and in my eyeballs. Um, but this is the Two of Cups. So this is what I feel like is is this like innocence, like a page. These This couple looks young. So going back to how you operated when you were younger, but being wiser with your dealings now. And then we have, yeah, look at that. We have the moon. So that's all this, the full moon. And then we just had the new moon, you know, that energy, uh, healing, facing fears, illumination, things being revealed that weren't, that were secret before, uh, getting the information, the epiphany, trusting your intuition. So what's manifesting is I feel like information coming in, communication coming in, epiphanies, realizations that were necessary overcoming fears right overcoming pain and hurt and disappointment of the past so looking at it in a different way there's healing happening the way what i love about this is it's not like there's blood coming i know it's gears and there may be a little loose parts right because you know things happen little pieces of us get hurt and it's just this time to repair it but i feel like these swords are very easy to take out they're placed very perfectly right so they don't totally damage they just you know it's just part of our lessons take this little these little break offs and, and as lessons that we've learned growth so there's there's healing that can happen but they're um may have been some pain in the past that either you went through, they went through, or you both went through together. And it's facing that and, and allowing this healing because that's your wish fulfillment. That's emotional freedom. Like now we're free. We've communicated about this or I've let go of this past. This is encouragement to face the past. Let go. Allow things to heal. Allow your heart to heal. There's all this healing happening. So I feel like there's healing of the heart happening right now. And it's part of your wish fulfillment. Being independent and free emotionally. Free to express yourself. Wishes coming to true this is a golden opportunity for healing and cutting through the illusions and the cloudiness and you see all that light coming in I mean, it's kind of weird right it's like it's seeing through finally like now it's breaking where it once was really cloudy it's like starting to break free and you're like yes I'm free to be me that's what I feel like is happening so for some people you you may be coming into independence like independently free from another situation and you're moving towards this divine partnership because you're open to it you're like yeah I want this soulmate love I want the true connection I don't want this heartache and pain anymore I don't want the toxic relationships I want to move out of that I'm gonna be logical about it I'm gonna move out of that energy and let that go and I'm gonna live in my abundance and focus on the healing focus on the happiness the peace the contentment and that's what you bring in that's what you're bringing in. And look at this. At the bottom of the deck, what's what's manifesting is the Ace of Wands. Taking this golden opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, making it real in the physical. This is beautiful, passionate, creative, sensual, sexual energy. Brand new beginnings in passion. Right? That's, that's underlying energy. And look at that. Right under it is the Fool. And then the Tower. So this, and look at this Tower. So this is the underlying energy for you right now in the Union. Is something... Things had to be cleared away. That's what's happening right now in the world. Things be things being cleared up. People having more time to go within. To, but this is epiphanies. This isn't breaking anything, right? This foundation is very strong. Your foundation of this union is very strong, and you're given you're being given an opportunity during this time period to take this new, fresh, fiery energy, right? That creative energy, and and take that leap of faith for brand new beginnings. That's that youth energy, and just going for it. Just going for it. That's the fool. So I'm going to lay these out, and I'm going to attempt to uh, make the brightness go away. That way you can maybe see them just a little bit better. Sometimes we have to adjust our perception in life, adjust our situations um, to see things clearly. And I feel like that was the message with that sun coming in. So incredibly bright, right? And it's just time to adjust our perception, see things differently. And things have to be cleared away and things have to shift in order to, you know, go into this new life in this new world. Right, Leo? Okay, we're just going to get a little messages here. If your person, if you're, it, whether you're talking or not, their higher self has some messages for you in spirit about this union, about what's going on, about what's manifesting. What do they want to say? But I feel there's a lot of healing and you're breaking free from you know, whatever this pain is of the past. 
Okay, yeah, breaking free. See, nine is independence, right? Someone's finding their independence, their financial independence. Perhaps both of you are, and that's part of the plan. That's part of the deal. It's important to both of you, but there's these are two very independent people that are connected, right? Good on your own, but you really feel the pull. Like the masculine is maybe a little obsessed with the feminine, um, just wanting a little piece of her. Oh, I want to be so close to her. I just want to be with you so badly, but I know I have to do what I need to do to make this work and to make this real. And the, and the feminine is just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be my beautiful self, right? I'm manifesting you. And look, the moon shows up again. So it's cutting through the illusions, finding that little pearl wisdom. So that's what's happening right now. They want to tell you they're finding that pearl. They're searching for that pearl of wisdom and things are being illuminated. They're looking in the mirror. This is that they're filling their own cup. They're like, "Hey, help me universe. I want to fill my own cup. I want to I want to be free of any toxicity, free of the past and and I you know, I'm I'm cutting through those illusions because what I want is to be close. I feel the passion. Like this that your person feels very passionate towards you very wildly sexual towards you. Um, if you've had experience in the physical world, they are definitely thinking about it and wanting that. Horses represent strength and stamina. So there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of stamina. It can be heated at times possibly because of the passion. But it's like, I want you so bad energy. Like, I want you so bad. It can be a very rash energy. That it, Maybe the masculine is, what I feel like is the masculine is feeling a little anxious. Like, I want this so bad. I want you so bad. But I know I've got to do this and I know I've got to do that because you're the empress. You're the queen of pentacles. You're the king and queen of fire. Like, you're everything to this person. So they know that they have to find their independence and healing in order to be the right match for you. So they may be a little fearful because they're feeling so such a strong pull to you that it's almost like, whoa. But they want to make the offer. This is the name of Pentacles. I'm thinking about what I can offer. I'm watching you. I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm being patient. I'm filling my cup, and then I just want to share it with you, right? Trying to find that balance because the Pentacle energy is – earthly energy and it's 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 you know kind of thinking about it right what do I have to offer because I want to offer all this love and at the bottom of the deck they're saying yeah I feel your the feminine's love the masculine feels the unconditional love coming from the divine feminine so divine feminine what the masculine really is asking for is you to be open to this open to this love open to this sacred union and, and they just want to be close to your heart. You see, I, look, I'm, I'm my, you know, I just want to be close to your heart. I want to hear your heart beat. I, I feel so good in your arms. I feel so safe in your arms. I just want to share my love with you. And look, his hands on the heart again. Like the heart is really important right now. You're connecting heart space to heart space. They're healing the heart space of the past. That's what's happening. So focus on the healing. Focus on that aspect. Be open to it. Send unconditional love from your heart space to their heart space. They feel it. We're going to get your final message here. I appreciate all of you, the support on my channel. Liking it helps getting the videos out, you know, subscribing it, sharing it. If you'd like to reach out to me for a private reading or healing, please do. It's been really beautiful readings and healings, and I'd like to uh, share that gift with you. Okay, what angel is working with you at this time and what message do they have for you? Oh, look at that. Archangel Uriel on friendship, soulmates, true divine partner, with you to the end, side by side, but focusing on the love you do have, focusing on the friendships you do have, nurturing yourself, nurturing the ones you love. Beautiful friendship for me. And you know, that is the most beautiful part in, the, in a very in. in important part of a divine sacred union is the friendship because that's what's going to carry you through okay let's see uriel what do you have to say uriel is the divine companion our relationships signify part of the deeper fabric of our lives as they involve evolve through our life's growth uriel wishes you to know that the rapport you have with some of your friends is changing at this time. In order to reflect the changing inner core processes that are evolving within you. These changes are very natural and Uriel asks you to surrender all feelings to the notion of companionship offered by this exquisite angel. 
Indeed, the 12 angels of Atlantis will watch over you in your relationships and will help all of you make easy, love-filled transitions. At the same time, be ready to receive new friendships that mirror the many interests blossoming through your creative outpouring. To help with this unfolding, chant who through the second chakra, that's your sacral chakra, and your relationship zone will be healed by angelic elixir. Ooh, I like that. So as you evolve, as you expand, as you grow, as you shift in perception and you get the higher mind view, the spiritual view, and you step into your full power, naturally certain friendships and certain associations and relationships will fall away as they should because it's leaving room for new ones. So focus on the friends and the partnerships and the relationships that are good for you, that empower you, that help you heal, and it's very reciprocal. And the ones that aren't, the ones that are toxic, the ones that are they're holding you back, the ones that feel like they're sucking the life out of you or there's no, nothing, you're not getting anything out of it, those are the ones that you lovingly let go of and you move forward. It's a beautiful time for growth and for healing and for going after your dreams. The wheel is turning towards your destiny.